once again to my workshop and at last I'm back and I have quite a lot of I su suppose news and uh, a lot of material and jobs are in store for you for the next couple of months. For today's project what I'm going to do is I've got some offcuts of quite nice quality wood um, but they're offcuts and um, I'm going to laminate them together um, trim them up and we're going to put them in the lathe and we're going to make a bowl um, of course this process with the laminating uh, will take at least five to six hours so um, this will be done over two days uh, this is not a an hour job uh, a lot of you write in and ask me oh how long does it take to make a bowl uh, or a, a vase well if I wasn't filming it would take probably uh, between an hour hour and a half um, and then there's the the, the finishing with the um, uh, whether you use varnish or linseed oil um, obviously that takes a little time um, but uh, yeah it's done quite quickly uh, of course when you're filming uh, it can take four or five hours to do and you know sort of what would normally take you an hour so uh, we'll um, we'll start trimming up some of these offcuts and we'll laminate them together right the offcuts that I'm going to use is I already have a, a laminated a uh, couple of thick planks here uh, this is Western Red Cedar I uh, did that a couple of years ago um, this is uh, an offcut of uh, a plank of hue and pine very nice wood that is um, this is a piece of jarra Australian jarra and this is another offcut of blackwood as blackwood so what I'm going to do is I want this to be the the lip of the bowl this to be the main body uh, this to be the, the the bottom edge and this to be like um, the very bottom of the bowl uh, this is also going to act um, as our flange uh, that we're going to hold in the chuck um, to hold the, the whole unit but uh, what I need to do is to trim this off so it's a square block. Um, trim this off so it's a square block and there's a crack here so I'm going to take that out. Um, um, also trim this off so I'm left with a nice square. Uh, but before I laminate them what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a compass and just mark out an arc on here, here, here and here on uh, these two anyway and uh, we'll cut them off in the bandsaw. your offcuts together to make this bowl. Um, now what I do in this case is I start on the, I make a face plate on what is going to be the, the front of the bowl um, because what we're going to do is we're going to machine the back of the bowl first and we're going to machine the tenon on this uh, base piece here. I'm going to turn it around, make this in a chuck then and then 
machine the inside out. So, I've already got a centre mark there. Okay, so what I do now, because this is such a, a lump of wood, um, what I do is I bring the tailstock up, it's got a spike on here, and I just spike it there like that, lock this up, wind him in. He's not going to come out anywhere now, and it's going to, all going to hold it in the chuck, uh, sorry, on the face plate. Nothing's going to fly off and hit me in the face. Okay, so now I'm going to start to machine some of this down. And what we need to be, we need to be within about half an inch of this material. We've got a basic shape now, uh, so we've roughed it out and uh, everything's nice and round now. And I've faced this uh, back edge off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an internal tenon uh, as opposed to an external tenon. Um, I find with these sort of chucks, it's better to put the chuck inside and expand the jaws. Um, you can get a much better grab onto it uh, that way. Um, so that's what we're going to do next is machine an internal tenon. I've just turned this round now. Uh, I've actually done some sanding uh, before I turned it uh, around. It's it's going to be a quite a beautiful um, bowl, salad bowl, whatever fruit bowl or whatever type of bowl you want to call it. Uh, and what I normally do is I put uh, an internal tenon, which means you you cut a you saw me cut a, a, a sort of a, a indentation in the back here with a taper. Uh, this is for the, the jaws to come in and expand. Uh, well, this piece of um, this piece of um, wood here is a made-up piece of wood of uh, rare material, and it has split. So now I'm going to have to, um, I think, put the base plate back on this now, on this end to turn the inside of the bowl out. And then I'll have to come back and repair this. But, uh, you know, these things happen.
is the way that turned out. Uh, so now for a first couple of coats of uh, finish. Now what I normally use, especially for some of the food related bowl, and that is um, linseed oil, boiled linseed oil. Um, you know, if you want to put apples or fruit, you know, fruit or anything like that in, well, it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> it doesn't trans transmit any sort of flavour to the fruit. So what I normally do, put some on a rake, start to lay it up on slow. There's a fairly close-up look at the finished item. Um, from a stack of, of some off-cuts of uh, waste wood, although it's pretty nice wood, um, turned into a bowl. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me turn uh, some offcuts of wood, which are, well, not exactly scrap, but um, offcuts, uh, into a pretty presentable bowl. Um, so if you have, please press like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, please, little red box down there, if you go onto that. Uh, that'll take you to my YouTube station or channel, whichever way you want to call it. Um, there you will find now 177 videos on wood turning, uh, CNC routers, um, at cam, Mark III, what else is there? Shop jobs, um, making a bit of furniture. And uh, well, go and have a look, and I'm, I'm sure there's something there that will interest you. Uh, incidentally, uh, I've just gone over, uh, passed over then, um, 25.7 million downloads. That's absolutely fantastic, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for being interested in what I'm doing and uh, it's close to a hundred thousand subscribers as well so we'll do something a little special for when it does become a hundred thousand I think so um, I think uh, the next couple of videos will be a little bit about at cam uh, because I've just uh, acquired the new at cam standard and uh, I, I've had it for about a week and it's fantastic. It's, um, it's as good as the old Atcam Pro. Uh, it does everything that uh, you, well, you, that you need. It'll, you can actually manufacture, make yourself uh, a 3D relief. And um, I suppose now it's reasonably priced. So um, well, there'll be a, a few videos on that. And of course, by the end of this month, hopefully, um, I will have my new uh, CNC machine, which is to my design. It's fully uh, equipped. Um, I'll explain more to you about that when I get it here. Uh, it's top of the range, top of the top model of the uh, 6012. Uh, also, the the new. Um, lathe, two new lathes actually, I, I, I've got, 
and I'm sure a lot of you will be, I suppose, very glad because I get a lot of comments about it. Uh, I'm getting an industrial, um, not vacuum cleaner, what's it called? Dust collection, workshop dust collection uh, unit. So uh, I'll probably dedicate uh, one whole video into installing that and um, uh, giving you a bit of a talk about it because it's one of uh, the machines that uh, my factory makes. Um, so anyway, thank you all for watching and um, bye till next time. Bye.